everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be giving you guys 10 ways for how you can gain more followers whether that's on social media or youtube or anything like that and whilst i'm talking about that i'm going to be painting this giraffe and if you're interested in prints of this then they are available on my etsy store and there will be a link to that in the description and also if you want to know exactly what materials I am using to create this piece then again those are all in the description as well for you to check out. But anyway let's get straight on with today's art topic. So today we're talking about ways that you can gain more followers and some tips for how I established my following. So my tip number one is to make sure that you start young. So building an audience takes a long time. So it will take a while for you to grow that audience and it's especially slower when you're just starting out. It may take you a long time to get your first say 100 or 1000 followers. Like for me with my subscribers on YouTube, it took me a year before I gained 1000 subscribers on YouTube. And now, because it once you have those followers, it kind of speeds up the rate that it grows at. I can gain like a thousand subscribers in like two days. So it's not like your growth is always going to be linear and you're always just going to like gain the same amount of followers all the time. You're going to speed up as you get more and more followers. So bear in mind that it does take a while for you to establish that kind of core audience and then it kind of blossoms and it grows exponentially normally, normally. Um, but yeah, I really recommend starting young. So as soon as you can, create those social media platform sites and really start posting on them no matter what it is, just start young and then you can build on your techniques and learn better ways to kind of create your content and also promote it and stuff like that. So it will take a couple of years, so make sure you bear that in mind. It's not like you're going to necessarily, within a month, gain 100,000 new followers. It doesn't really work like that. It takes time to build up your audience and get people to know you. So the younger you can start, the better. Tip number two is to post consistently. So what I mean by consistently is say if you're on Instagram, you wanna be posting like at least every other day, but like Instagram stories maybe once a day. This is something that I'm really bad at. I'm consistent with my YouTube channel, but when it comes to Instagram, Twitter and Facebook, I'm not particularly consistent at it. And it's really something that I want to get better at because I think if I did it more consistently, it would really help me to grow. So make sure that you're posting as often as you can and it will really help you. The next thing is that you will want to use hashtags, especially for something like Instagram. So hashtags are going to get you more out there. People are going to discover you that way. And especially with Instagram, there's a lot of art featuring accounts. And when I'm growing my Instagram audience, I got a lot of art features from other big accounts that like to promote artists. And if you use their hashtags in your work and once you do your post in your description, if you use the hashtag they tell you to use, then they could feature you. And they put your work in front of a new audience and you can get followers that way. So I really recommend using some of the generic tags like, you know, art, drawing and all that sort of stuff. But also throw in a few of those art featuring account hashtags and you might get featured. So my fourth tip is to really focus on improving your art skills. Don't just look at your follower account and focus on that and just focus on your stats of everything. Make sure that you're focusing on your art skills as well. Because at the end of the day, as you improve your art skills and as you become a better artist and your artwork looks better, people are going to have more of an incentive and want to be more inclined to follow you because your artwork's getting better. And people like seeing your progress and if your artwork is really good, then people will naturally want to follow you. So don't worry about necessarily the follower account. Obviously, you need to be consistent. You need to keep posting and you need to know how to promote yourself. But make sure that you're also focusing on proving your art skills because this is so important if you want to gain followers. People need to be interested and like the art that you're creating. So you need to make sure that you have some sort of decent skill level if you want to gain lots of followers. 
So the fifth thing is also to take good quality images of your artwork or if you're doing videos, make sure your videos are in good quality. No one wants to look at a photo of a piece of artwork where the lighting's awful, it just looks boring and it's not been done very well and you can see that there's no effort been put into it. So when you do your Instagram photos, if you're taking a photo of a drawing, make sure it's really good lighting. I recommend like daylight lighting. So like take the photo either outside or near a window so you get a lot of natural light. Also make sure that you don't make it look boring. I like to decorate it, put some pencils near it, you know, maybe candles, some flowers, whatever. Just make sure it looks appealing and people want to like it and it, they'll be more drawn to it. So really spend your time focusing on getting good photos. If you're doing YouTube, invest in a good camera. It doesn't have to be expensive. It just needs to have a decent kind of like clarity to it so you can see what's going on. You don't want it to be really poorly, kind of really poor quality, especially in today's age where there's so many good quality videos on the internet. People won't want to sit through a rubbish, bad quality video. So make sure that you invest in a quality sort of camcorder or video camera and also take really good photos. So tip number six is to comment and engage and collab with other artists and creators. So when you comment and talk to other artists, people are going to see you in their comment section and they might check you out, especially if you're having a conversation with that artist. And it's always great to network and talk to new artists. It's also great to collaborate with new artists. So for example, if you find someone that has a similar follower count to you, like on YouTube or something, if you have a YouTube channel, then maybe you could help each other out, do a collaborational video together and you can kind of share each other's audiences and you will discover new people and they'll discover new people. So it'll be mutually beneficial for both of you. So if you can talk to new artists, it's also great because they can share tips with you and also you're kind of in it together and you can talk to them if you have any sort of problems and it's just nice to have someone that you can talk to. So like with me, I always have the Discord group where we have the YouTube Artists Collective girls and it's always nice to talk to them and we kind of share anything that's going on with like YouTube. If we have any worries or concerns, we ask like, oh, is this happening with you? And obviously we can collaborate together. So it's just nice to have that support network around you. Okay, so tip number seven is to use call to actions to prompt people to share and like your work. So an important thing with social media and with YouTube is engagement. So they want to see whether people are actually engaging with your content before they keep putting your content in front of new people. So make sure you're asking people questions, make sure that you ask them to like and share your work. And a lot of the time people don't really think about it, but if you actually ask them to do something, then they might do it. So tangenting if you're new to my channel and you like this kind of video make sure you hit that subscribe button and tick that bell icon to be notified on my future videos anyway self-promotion ended let's get back to the video so tip number eight is to consider creating a schedule so followers like it when they know what to expect from you so for example if you know that you want to post on a certain number of days for example on youtube then people will know when to expect it and you're more likely to get more engagement because people will know that it's coming and so they'll go and check to see if you've posted and if you have, then they can watch it. And also on Instagram, not really like certain days, but you wanna post every day, every other day and try to create that schedule and it will help you get into that routine. And it will help because if you tell people your schedule, then you won't really want to disappoint them so you'll be more likely to stick to it. So tip number nine is to don't use too many social media sites. The more you use, the harder it will be to keep up with all of them and you'll kind of lose that quality. So I'll pick about three or four. Make sure you don't do every single one there is. Just pick a couple which you can really focus on and create good content for them. And last but not least, be patient. So it does take a long time and there's no real quick ways to grow. It will take time. But if you follow these tips, then I'm sure that you'll be able to do it and you just need to be dedicated. So be patient and you will make it. 
Anyway guys, that's it for today's video. I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. If you like this sort of painting and you want to learn how I actually painted this, then I do have real time tutorials over on my Patreon. So I'll leave a link in the description so you can check them out. But that's it for today and I will see you very soon. Bye everyone.